Tip 11, Mataji. This tip answers the question, what is craving? If we say there is suffering and there is a cause and we hear that the cause is craving, that's nice. But we must understand what the craving is. If we don't understand by heart inside what this craving is precisely, then we cannot let go of it. It's very simple. So two things we remember about craving. First, craving always manifests. That means it comes up. And as it's arising, it always has tension and tightness in the mind and in the body. Remember now, the head is part of the body. So when we say it has tension and tightness in the body, we mean go to the head first and relax the head. Because when you relax the head, the body will follow. You can check this out for yourself if you relax your mind. You can lower your blood pressure, slow your heart, relax the muscles in your body if you're injured. So it all begins with mind. Mind is the forerunner of all states. Mind made are they. That's why it's important to remember that. So craving always manifests as tension and tightness in the mind and in the body. That's the first part. Second part is, what is it precisely? It is the I like it or the I don't like it mind. That's the simplest way to remember it. In the line of dependent origination, Contact happens, then feeling happens. But these things are the sense doors in the body, and these things are part of the anatomy of the body, and these things are voluntary functions of the body. But the involuntary part is when I jump in and make an opinion. So craving is the first place we see and obviously see it, I like it, which translates into I want it and attachment, or I don't like it, mind. I don't like it, I don't want it, and then I have to make this change. I need to make this change. So this is the lesson on craving. Craving always manifests as tension and tightness arising in the, the body, a change in that tension. And second, it is the I like it or I don't like it mind. That's tip number 11. Oops.